We begin by praising Allah and our praise will never be enough. And we thank Allah and our thanks will never be enough. And then we remind ourselves that we weren't made for this world. We are strangers in this world. We are travelers in this world nothing more. And we warn ourselves that we are going back to our Creator. We are returning to our Maker. We're going back to Him, the one who made us, gave us everything we have. We are returning to Him. And so I remind myself and I remind every, all of us here that this dunya, this world is poison. And the next world, the afterlife is medicine. And we want to shift from the poison to the medicine. We want to empty our hearts from the poison and fill it with the medicine. We want to empty our minds from the poison and fill it with the medicine. We want to empty our dreams from poison and fill it with medicine. We want to shift our yearning, our cares, our thoughts, our love, our desires, our dreams, our ambition from poison to medicine. And what is this world? that is not even worth one mosquito's wing? <laughs> what is this world? It's not worth the crumbs that fall off of one dinner table compared to what's in store for us. And so opening the eyes of the heart and looking at the afterlife brings us comfort, brings us healing, brings us medicine. And the afterlife, what's in store for us? Allah tells us in the Quran, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فلا تعلم نفس ما أخفي لهم من قرة أعين جزاء بما كانوا يعملون No soul knows the delight of the eyes waiting for them because of what they used to do. Heaven where one, one tent in heaven is 60 miles high, made of pearls, and we struggle for 3,000 square feet, and we toil for 30 years to get 3,000 square feet, where one tree in heaven, a horse races for 100 years and cannot cross the trunk of this tree, where the length of one bow in heaven, لَقَابُ قَوْسٍ فِي الْجَنَّةِ خَيْرٌ مِمَّا تَطْلُعُ عَلَيْهِ الشَّمْسِ أَوْ تَغْرُبُ Where the span of one bow in heaven is worth more than everything that the sun rises upon and sets. And where are our eyes setting? What are our eyes yearning for? What is our, our heart setting for? where one span of a bow in heaven is worth more than everything the sun rises and sets upon, where the last person to enter heaven, God tells him, Allah tells him, you have the world and 10 times the entire world. And he says, أَتَسْخَرُ bi wa anta al-malik." He says, you have this world times 10. And the man, <laughs> he says, are, are you joking? And you are the king. And our Prophet ﷺ smiled until his molar teeth showed. And that's the last person to enter heaven. Where in heaven Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tamanna, Tamanna, wish, wish, wish for whatever you want. And then after he, you're done wishing, he says, Hal Did you wish? And then he says, Yes, I've wished. 
And then Allah says, you get all your wishes and even more. Where Allah asks us in heaven, Hal radhitum? Hal radhitum? Are you satisfied? Allah asks us, who are we? Who are we that we get all this? Imagine, imagine a kindergartner's competition and you say, whoever colors this picture the best, I'm going to give him two billion dollars. We have to be patient for a few years and then we get Jannah. لهم فيها ما يشاءون. We have to be patient for a few years, obey for a few years, avoid the prohibitions for a few years, be good to people, forgive people, and then we get heaven forever where there is no worry, there is no stress, where there is no fear, no anxiety, there is no hatred, there is no sickness, there is no separation. Then why are we, why are we in love with this dunya? This poison that deludes us, this poison that hypnotizes us. This world is not even worth one mosquito's wing. This world is lower than the low. And its lover is more humiliated than the most humiliated. Our Prophet said, This world is a home for the one that doesn't have a home. But we all have a home in paradise. And the one who collects in this world has no intellect. Because you can't take it with you. The kafan has no pockets. The kafan that we get wrapped with in the grave has no pockets. We can't take anything with us, it's all delusion. This world is only but an hour. So make it obedience to Allah. And the nafs, the lowest, the ego, is tamma'ah. It's never satiated. It always wants more. Tame it to be satisfied with what it has. Tame it to not want more. 3,000 square feet's not enough, I need 4,000. My Acura's not enough, I need a Tesla. My Tesla's not enough, I need a Porsche. My Porsche is not enough, I need a Bugatti. It's never enough, there's always something else. And it's poison, Allah says in the Quran, وَلَا تَمُدَّنَّ عَيْنَيْكَ إِلَى مَا مَتَّعْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجٍ مِنْهُمْ زَهْرَةَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا لِنَفْتِنَهُمْ فِي Don't extend your eyes to the ornaments of this world. We will, we will make it a fitna for those people. Make it a tribulation, a challenge, a difficulty, a temptation. So we don't put our eyes on the dunya, we put our eyes on the next life. And when we put our eyes on the next life, it's medicine. And when we put our eyes on this life, it's poison. Because when we put our eyes on this life, my house is not big enough. My marriage is not good enough. My wife is not this enough. My husband is not this enough. My job is not this enough. My car is not this enough. I don't have enough. Allah didn't give me enough. Allah didn't give me enough. This dunya is poison. And so we close our eyes from the dunya and we open our eyes to the akhirah. And then we dream of paradise. Where there are places in paradise the Prophet, peace be upon him, described to the people, to the Sahaba. And the Sahaba, he described this ghuraf. And they were so high and lofty and beautiful. And the Sahaba said, are those only for the prophets and for no one else? And no one else gets those houses? And you know what he said? He said, Bala, these are for the believers in Allah and the one who trusted their prophets. They get those gharaf, they get those houses. Are you not satisfied with what Allah gave you? So run to Allah, flee to Allah. We flee to Allah and we say, 
to Allah. Labbayka. Labbayka Rabbana wa sa'adik. That's what they say in heaven to Allah. At your service, at your pleasure. Wal khayru fi yadayk. And goodness is all in your hands. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Seek forgiveness from Allah. He forgives all sins. Alhamdulillah, 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 wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. This world, this dunya is poison, and the next life is medicine. And when we're feeling stress and anxiety, we close our heart, hearts from this, our eyes and from this world, and we turn to the next world. One time they asked one of our scholars and saints in our history, they said, why is it that people don't want to go to the next world and the people want to stay here? And he replied to them, He said to them, he said, you built your dunya and you destroyed your akhirah, your next life. You built this life and you destroyed the next life. So who wants to go from the built to the destroyed? And we plant trees with subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. And as salatu nur, prayer is light. Light in the grave, light in this life, and light in the next life. sabru diyaq, and patience is illumination. When we're patient, with our, in our marriages and with our children and with our work and with our people who are difficult to us, it's illumination. وَالصَّدَقَةُ burhan, And charity is proof that we sub submit to Allah and love Allah. And we give money to Allah. We give the money to Allah. And this is our deal. This is our deal with our Prophet wasallam. The pledge at the Aqaba. Obey and don't fear the censure of anyone don't fear when anyone makes fun of you. Don't care. When anyone makes fun of you because you're Muslim, don't care. Tuba lil ghuraba. Islam began weird. It's going to end as weird. And congratulations to the weirdos, to the dignified weirdos, the dignified, elegant, strange people. We don't want to be normal in today's world. <laughs> yes, we want to be dignified and elegant and presentable. And we want Allah to be gentle with us in this life, in this world. But we don't seek the acceptance of everyone and the opinion of everyone. We seek the acceptance from Allah. We seek the acceptance from Allah. And so when it comes to the dunya, here's the tangible takeaway. When it comes to the dunya, when it comes to our money, when it comes to our bank account, when it comes to our 401k, when it comes to our, the size of our home or, the, or our cars, or how pretty we are, or how handsome we are, look at those, look down at those who have less than you. So you can be grateful and have gratitude. And when it comes to religion, and when it comes to prayer, and when it comes to dhikr, and when it comes to akhirah and spirituality, look up at those who are doing more than me, so I can be inspired to do more. And the epitome of stupidity is to be satisfied with my religious state to be satisfied with my spiritual state. We will always yearn to grow, to do more, to be more, and to fall in love with God and to be lovable to God. And we want to leave this world as awliya, as walis. That's on our bucket list. We want to be walis, to be the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what we yearn for. We are people who seek the afterlife. This life, فَطُوبَى ثُمَّ طُوبَى لِمَنْ مِنْهَا تَحَذَّرْ وطلقها وفي طاعة الرحمن شمر ففكر في 
ففكر في عناها وفي قلة غناها وفي كثرة عناها ففكر في فناها This world Congratulations to the one who divorces the dunya Who divorces this world Divorce this dunya, divorce this world And roll up your sleeves in the obedience of Allah Roll up your sleeves in, in seeking Allah and obeying Allah. Roll up your sleeves in obeying Allah. And then think, contemplate about this world. How quick it is and how, and how, how quick it disappears and vanishes. How quick this world vanishes. How the pleasures of this world vanishes. And how, and how even the rich people People here, even the, even they're weak. The rich people get sick. They get di they die. They have difficulty. What is this world that's deluding us? And think of the difficulties and the problems, and how this dunya takes away this and takes away that, and our children and our and our families and this and that and our spouses. This world is not something worthy to live for. We are people of the afterlife. We live for the next life. And we are only temporary visitors here. And during this temporary visit, we obey Allah. We submit to Allah. And in exchange, we get paradise. That's the deal. In exchange, we get paradise forever, inshallah. So cross this world. Don't worship this world and look forward to your next home. And when this world gets heavy, close your eyes and imagine the next world. Close your eyes and do dhikr. Ala bi dhikr Allahi tatma'innu al-qulub. Dhikr brings solace and serenity to your heart. When this world gets stressful, and causes anxiety and difficulty, close your eyes and remember God. Remember Allah and do dhikr as medicine. And the next life is medicine. And the afterlife is medicine. And so we empty our heart from this, from this world, this poison, and we seek the next world. And we look up and we look down in the right direction, at the right time, in the right way, and in the right manner, inshallah. And may Allah be gentle with us. May Allah send peace and blessings on humanity's teacher, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Our teacher, our beloved, our captain, our superhero, the mercy to mankind, the gift to humanity. May Allah send peace and blessings on him and his companions and his family. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al nar. Oh Allah, give us the good of this world, the good of the next world, and protect us from the torment of the fire. Walakin afiataka o sa'ulana. Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we ask you for afiyah. Ya Allah, we ask you for well being. We ask you for gentleness in this life. Ya Allah, don't test us with more that we can bear. Bring us closer to you, Ya Allah, with gifts and not through tests. Ya Allah, let us be love, loved by you and let help us fall in love with you. Ya Allah, let us taste the sweetness of Islam and the sweetness of Iman and the sweetness of Ihsan. Ya Allah, protect our teachers and our scholars and our institutions. Ya Allah, bring us closer to you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, empty our hearts from the dunya, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, empty our hearts from the dunya, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, protect our mothers and our fathers, and if they've passed away, elevate their state, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us be those who live for the next life, who live for the akhirah, who live for the, for the next life, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us enjoy. Man ahabba liqa Allah, ahabba Allahu liqa'ah. Whoever loves to meet God, Allah loves to meet him. Make us from those people, Ya Allah. Make us from those people who love to meet you. Make us of those, of those people who pray five times a day. Who even when they're sleepy, they obey you. Who even when they're sleepy, they obey you. Who even when they're sleepy, they obey you. Make us from those people, Ya Allah, that give their eyes to you. Ya Allah, that give everything that you gave them to you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we don't understand the wisdoms and what decisions you make, but we, we know you are the all-wise. So we accept whatever you do. We don't understand the wisdoms, but we know you are the all-wise. So we accept and we trust you, Ya Allah. We trust you more than we trust our own selves. 
We trust you more than we trust our own selves, Ya Allah. Protect our children, protect our offspring, protect our communities. Elevate the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Unite the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Alleviate the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, from one sincere heart in this place, in this gathering, bring healing to the entire planet, Ya Allah. And bring elevation to every past Muslim, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, and you say, be and it is, and it's easy for you. Ya Allah, wa ma ala bi aziz. And that's easy for you and capable, you are capable of it. Ala kulli shayin qadir. You're capable of everything, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we all came here seeking you, submitting to you, searching for you. Ya Allah, let us leave purified. Let us leave elevated. Let us leave forgiven, Ya Allah. Let us leave illuminated, Ya Allah. Let us leave illuminated, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help us leave where you bring us healing to our marriages, Ya Allah. Healing to our children, Ya Allah. If our children are lost or family members are lost, bring them back, Ya Allah. Bil khair wal lutuf wal afiyah. With ease and gentleness and well-being and goodness, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah, we ask you for everything good that our dear Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Wasallam asked you for. And we seek protection from every harm that he sought protection from. Ya Allah, help us, help us be people of knowledge. Ameen, 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 and send peace and blessings on our superhero, our master, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح قد قامت الصلاة قد قامت الصلاة الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله